One place where initial value problems come up very often is in physics. In particular, when we are concerned about problems involving velocity and acceleration. If an object is traveling in a straight line, with a position p at time t, its velocity is given by the derivative of p, or dp dt. Here's an example. A particle on the x-axis has a constant velocity of 2 meters per second. At time t equals 0, the particle is at position minus 3 meters. What is the position of the particle after 5 seconds? In other words, t equals 5. To solve this problem, we start with the information we're given. We know that we have a particle that has a constant velocity of 2 meters per second. This means that v, the velocity, which is equal to the derivative of p at t, is equal to just 2. Now, we know how to solve this differential equation using integration. So we integrate both sides. Now recall that differentiating a function and then integrating it just gives us the original function back. So p is going to be equal to this integral. And taking the integral of 2 gets us 2t plus c. This is our general solution with parameter c. Now we want to find a specific solution. That is, we want to solve for c. And we do that using information from the problem. We know that at time t equals 0, our particle has position minus 3. So we know that when t equals 0, our particle has position minus 3. We replace that in our general solution to get minus 3 equals 2 times 0 plus c. Solving for c, we get c is equal to minus 3. And we have our specific solution, p equals 2t minus 3.
We want now to answer the problem, what is the position of the particle after 5 seconds? So we have a position function of the particle, and at t equals 5 seconds, we find that t is equal to 2 times 5 minus 3 equals 7. So the position of the particle after 5 seconds is 7 meters. And that concludes our example.